Hi everybody, Martin the Flicker Feathers again today and I'm taking another old fashioned uh, midge pupa for you. This is the footballer. Um, well it's a slight variation but I'll explain as I go. As always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content as well as being entered into the giveaways. So we've got my hook and my vise. It's a size 14, it's an all purpose medium weight, but you can tie these 12s down to 18s or 20s, even, right? Um, it's a really effective wee midge. Um, now, this fly is a, it's one of Jeffrey Bucknell's patterns, and it must be 60 years old. Um, so, it's not as sort of flashy and fancy as a lot of the modern buzzers, which I actually think um, is often better. So I've started some white thread. This is Vivas 10 Oat. I'm normally I'd use uni, but I've got I've run out of white uni. And I've just tied in a length of one length of black and one length of white super hair. Originally this fly was tied with horse hair but it's getting harder and harder it seems to get a supply of horse hair so I've switched to the, uh, the ultra hair which is pretty similar it's slightly thinner in diameter but it still gives you a nice effect. Now I've tied this back and I've come right round the bend and I'm coming back up and touching turns, right? Making a nice, I'm letting the thread flatten and making a nice smooth underbody, right? Now, if you want to have a darker fly, you can add an extra strand of black or you can tie it over like a grey thread as well, that's fine. Um, although that will sort of impact the the white super here, um, and I'm going to wind these together. Now, see at this stage, you want to come like horizontal but pull down, right? So keep your grip close, come around and pull down, right? Same. Never get them started. So getting them started is usually the kind of hardest point. There we go. Right. Around and then put it in so that the, the butts, the, the turns are bump, button against each other. Same. And you want to hold quite close to the fly when you're tying these because if you, if you hold them away out here, which is easier, but the they'll start to separate as you wind. So, I'm just bringing these up. Touch and turns. Creating a nice segmented body. And I'm coming all the way up to the front and then come across my thread and catch it off. Trim the waist the length of the thorax. And I've still got plenty left. I'm just got to, they're easy to lose, so I just stick them in my hackle plier. Um I mean it's it's super cheap, but See if you cut another one. You'll get probably three or four flies out of uh, a single pair of str strands. So I've now got this, and it's certainly you know it's similar to like the quilled body, but this is much more durable, and it's more durable than the original horsehair as well. Although the horsehair will give you a stronger segmentation effect. Now I'm going to take a very light brush of varnish here. Again, this is not in the original, but I would have, I did this to the horsehair versions as well. Um, I 
just protects it a wee bit and it, it will soak in and it sort of enhances that translucent effect of the Ultra here. So Thorax is a wee bit of moles for. Again, you don't need to be building a big thick thorax, keep it keep it nice and slim, right? This whole fly is a skinny wee creature. And then now this is often um, omitted in a lot of the kinda versions that you see available uh for sale that from the big kinda producers. Um, but this is actually part of Jeffrey Bucknell's original dressing and I think it does add to the fly as a few tons of peacock hair at the head just sort of uh, just darkens it up a wee bit or darkens it down I should say um, I've just wound that the opposite direction and take a couple of wraps, one on the thread one on the hook, one on the peacock And then I've just got to come in, whip finish. I'm only going to tie one whip finish to keep this the thread head as small as possible. Even with this 10 watt thread, it's uh, you still do get some build. And there you go. That's Jeffrey Bucknell's footballer. As I say. It's a very, very old buzzer part. I mean, it must be one of the earlier buzzer imitations, really, for still that's developed in still waters. Um, but it really, I mean, it really, really works. It catches fish like crazy. Um, as I say, you can darken it then with an extra strand of black if you wish, but I like it like that. So, hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.